going home. You probably can't hear me. So, we went to Lowe's yesterday, or not Lowe's, we went to Home Depot this time, and we picked out a leaf blower. Because um, in the back of my mind, I always wanted to do this thing like a leaf blower powered RC airplane. Now, I've seen what ends this in the, of this in the past, but it didn't look like it actually flew on just leaf blower power. But now, actually, after getting a leaf blower, I think this actually may be kind of hard. What do you think? Uh... <laughs> Let's try taking some stuff off of it and see if we get any thrust improvements. I don't really need a lot of uh, dynamic thrust, I need more static thrust, so let's pull this shield off and see if it, it gets any better. Oh, that looks cool. It looks like the back of a turbo fan almost. Let's look and see what we got, what we got going on in here. Ooh, look at those blades. It looks pretty neat. Sam, you're not helping. We need to put some wheels on this. Yeah. Uh, shit. Believe it, I'm broke. Oh, uh, your axle broke. Aha, check it out. Alright. We got our Whoa. cone dragger. That's a cool new RC car. Cone dragon RC airplane. Let's see how it goes. Oh. definitely goes faster so we might actually be able to achieve flight but let's do some uh, some thrust gauging well that's not gonna work looks like we've maxed out this tiny scale so at least it pulls 250 grams worth of thrust uh, fish scale Okay, so that's not bad. That was about, what was that, about three pounds or so? Yeah. A static about. thrust? Okay. So the next goal would be to try various configurations. Either we're going to remove the second stage of the um, compressor or maybe try this nozzle first. We'll try the nozzle first, see what that does. Maybe we'll lose a couple pounds of thrust. Maybe we'll gain it. I doubt we're going to gain anything. But let's try that. Okay, so that actually looked kind of worse. It looked like it was about probably two and a half pounds of thrust that time. Let's put in the second reduction and see how much worse this actually gets. That really wasn't a whole lot better at all. It was probably maybe two and a quarter from the looks of things. What do you say? About two I and looked quarter? about, yeah, two, quarter, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter? Okay. Now, let's see. I don't think I, I'm not sure if I'll be able to take this off or not, but I'm going to take off the second stage because I looked inside of here, and the first stage was like a normal giant ducted fan. So let's pull the second stage off and see what, what it does. Cool, look at that. This is the second stage of the fan. Uh, there's a bearing in here. So, it looks like this is support on this piece, so that's definitely not coming out, so this is going back on. Uh, you just take the whole second fan off. You can't, because it's it's interfaced into one, as one piece. Do it better. What? Do it better. We'll put this back on. Okay, so since we cannot take that stage off because of the bearing interface and how it's designed, looks like the first configuration wins without any of this this baffle here, at least for maximum static thrust. So we're gonna go ahead and lose this and start the montage.
What do you think, Sam? It looks ridiculous. Oh, that's 15 pounds of leaf blower and airplane. And it bounces spot on. That, that actually worked out really well. Huh, who would have thought the uh, handle location is uh, spot on right next to the uh, CG of the intended leaf blower device. Not with the tail accessory grouping and all that. So we have stripped out the face plate with the centrifugal clutch. Or not centrifugal, whatever, whatever you want to call this. Starter. These centrifugal little doodads here that spring out when the thing's not spinning to engage the pulley starter. So I think we're about done. We're ready to go test it and uh, probably see it crash or not take off. Uh, I gotta work on that. What do you think? You think it's gonna work, Sam? You think it's gonna fly? Uh, no, I don't think there's enough thrust. I'm kind of leaning the same way, but I have seen worse things fly. Like your ultralight. I mean, that had more thrust. That's true. To be honest. <laughs> I don't think this thing's gonna be able to take off of grass. Uh, so you may have to just stick it on the road real fast when no cars are coming in to take off and then fly it over the runway. Or I could throw it. Uh, I don't think your arm could achieve sufficient launch velocity to achieve flight. So I think we're gonna take it as is. We're gonna try it. So the thing is we're gonna go to the runway, we're, or the road, <laughs> put it on there and just see how it goes and just try to take off. If that doesn't work, we're gonna come back here and just reassess the situation. Uh, there's a number of things I do wanna try, but we're gonna try just flying it first. Maybe, maybe this will be easy. Maybe it'll work right off the bat and we'll be done. But uh, let's go try to fly a leaf blower. Let's do it. The rider's not gonna stop working until it gets going fast, so here we go. Oh my gosh. Here, you piece of crap. Oh my gosh. Go. This is better than I thought it would do. I oh. flew! <laughs> I think I need more airspeed. Almost. Two out of three wheels off the ground. Well, that went about as well as I expected. I mean, it actually did kind of fly. Uh, maybe I'll put the GoPro shot here if I review the footage, because it looks like it actually did leave the ground at least on two wheels and was getting there. I was basically pushing the elevator uh, down to kind of, or up, I guess, to bring, to make it right on two wheels for less drag. And I forced it back down. It would just like, just barely just try to bump into the air. But there's not quite enough thrust here. Now I did do look. Uh, I did do a little looking around on the internet, and I see people do muffler mods. So I think we're gonna tear this open next, and we're gonna drill a ton of holes in this plastic and try to lighten this thing up as much as possible. I'll add a second electric motor to it too, to at least take off, and then we'll shut the electric motor down in flight, and then just try to fly on gas. Oh, what were your thoughts, Sam? It actually did way better than I thought it would. I didn't think it was even gonna get going that fast. So let's uh. Let's tear this muffler part and see what we can find inside this thing. Look at that, look at that impeller. Woo. Let go. Mm, I don't see a spark rescue in here. It just looks like it's really heavy. Um, uh, do we need this? I think we need blowback pressure, right? For gas powered engines? I don't know how none of this works. I'm not a gas gas guy. Uh, oh yeah, you can kind of see it. But yeah, we're gonna drill a hole in that. Uh, warning, this is not recommended if you run your leaf blower for blowing dry leaves because you can set your forest on fire. And it's not a very good thing to do. But luckily it's really wet and rainy where we're flying, so I don't care. Dan, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm putting one hole straight into the... Uh, oh wow, right out of the uh, exhaust port. Um, I don't think that's uh, covered under the warranty. Whoops. It definitely sounds like it 
if we think of a few hundred RPM or so. Yeah, it sounds really scary now. It's scary. It's loud. It doesn't meet EPA rec uh, EPA rate regulations anymore. But it's not. We're not selling this, so who cares? And it has a giant spinning metal thing in the front. Display. Yeah. Cheating. What? All right, day two, or is it day three? I don't know. Either way, okay, let's see. We got the, the muffler drilled out. I put this motor on. I didn't really film it because we're running out of time. We were really busy today, but the motor comes up for pulling and then it goes down for not pulling and stays out of the airflow. So I'm gonna get this bull on. We're gonna fire the sucker up and uh, what's your prediction, Sam? You're cheating. Nah, nah, fam, this but is good. cheaters always win, so you're good. I mean, the goal is to fly. I mean, in the air, we're gonna turn it off and just fly the leaf blower power, but you know, we gotta get in the air in the first place. So let's try this out, let's see how this works. This is what dreams are made of. All right, so we're starting the auxiliary prop up. It's up. I'm gonna go full throttle. Oh, yes, in the air we go, boys. Oh, that's good. It's flying. Oh, it's so. Oh, I don't have any like rudder. I think the servo is crapped out. Come on. Fly! Yes! We're airborne! We're doing it! Alright, I'm we'll gonna try to gain some altitude if I can and then shut the electric motor off. If I can counter steer, it won't stop turning. Oh boy. Uh I may have undersized the rudder circle. Oh god, the tippiness. How much throttle are you using? I'm gonna pull off everything. Oh, that's awful. I think I'm just gonna try to land it right now. Because uh, I don't have enough steer steering this. Am I clear? Cars are clear, cars are good. Bring the sucker in for landing. Yeah. Go. Uh, yeah, we landed it! Uh, Okay, so now it's day four, five, whatever, but this piece of junk high-tech servo is taking a dump. The yeah, problem today is so now we're gonna fire this up. I gotta move this to full throttle, leave it there, and we're just gonna fly till it runs out of fuel. That sounds awesome. Okay, let's get this started, because uh, we're running out of time. Full throttle, boy. All right, time to start it up. Take a look here. We got that. And we got this. So that was pretty awful. It basically took off and uh, pretty much did a wing over. There was a slight crosswind component, but also this is due to my aero design. Basically, if you look at this plane, it has polyhedral, meaning the tips are like this, so it's supposed to be auto stable. But the problem is the rudder is so tall when I input a rudder command. It's supposed to kind of roll the plane over to that side, but the problem is it's so high up here, it's also turning and pushing the airplane the opposite way, kind of making it the turns a little bit flatter. Now, this is fine and dandy in all low wind configurations or low wind conditions, but it was simply not the case, so we kind of smashed it, and also it, it felt worse. I had less up elevator authority, so I think maybe even this roll was starting to die or not even produce as much up thrust. So, we have an electric leaf blower. Where, where did we go? Yes, here we go. An electric leaf blower. So these have a higher power to weight ratio, not power to fuel densities in the batteries versus gas. Like this will run twice as long on the amount of weight savings, but it's kind of like a comparison chart thing we're going, but this has a lot more power and this weighs, 
I think this is uh, on the box about weighs about seven pounds. So we will be flying a leaf blower and just leaf blower power here. The gas one was just not not powerful enough. The thing, the dry weight of that thing is like 12 pounds, and it only produces about three pounds of thrust. The dry weight of this, when you remove all the accessories, is probably a little bit under seven pounds, probably closer to six. So we're gonna take this doohickey off here. We're gonna have you print another um, set of prints on our Lulzbot printer with a more extruder. And then we're gonna go try to fly this, which is way easier, way lighter, and it doesn't smell as bad. But it's not a real leaf blower. Uh, it says leaf blower on the box, so I am going to go ahead and say this is a leaf blower. Sam, what's in the box? We got some bonus content. Okay, Sam. Oh God, it's windy. It's trying to lift out of my hands. Uh, you just want to send it? Just send it. We'll talk about it later if it flies. All right, put the camera down. <laughs> Just doesn't have enough power. It's too heavy. I think the gas one was doing better. Uh, well, it had the electric assist, so it's kind of cheating. Uh. Well, this sucks. Uh, what are we doing? Not yet. We gotta talk about what we're doing. Oh yeah. So this thing is just uh, it's a little massively overweight. So, all right, yeah, you know what to do. Bro, that doesn't even look like a leaf blower. This is a disaster. Okay, hopefully this stupid thing actually flies now. If not, I don't I don't know what to do anymore. I'm just kind of like done. Cuz uh the whole point is this is to fly a stock leaf blower. At, at least stock electronics wise. So it's still stock. It just has a bunch of holes drilled in it, which is still stock, I guess. So let's uh let's just send it and see what happens cuz uh I think we're about done at this point. This looks awful. Do it, hurry up. Yep. It's going home. Yeah. Look at it go. Hey Sam, grab the grab, look look at that. We're flying. Yeah, just let it go we're home. Flying. We're flying. <laughs> Where's Damn, we're actually flying! We're over there! I'm just trying to go... Oh... Uh. You know what? That is a success! The okay. Phantom is going home because it's dead. Land the Phantom. Alright, Sam, give me more speed. I feel the need for a lot more speed. Good job, Sam. You broke it. It looks good to me. <laughs> uh, that was not what I asked for. More speed. You know what? Wrong direction. You know what? I think hey, we're gonna call it. It actually looks pretty, pretty good. This project blows. <laughs> <laughs> um, this plane gets a five out of ten. Uh, okay, so that wasn't so bad. I mean, we did fly this electric part, but not after modifying this. So, the idea of this video was basically to take a leaf blower and fly without modifying the actual power system. I mean, I mean, we ended up just doing a little tweaking with the gas, but you know, without putting like additional crazy airplane stuff on it, like model airplane junk, and then flying it, which would be a little bit cheating. I wanted to simply see if we can actually fly on a leaf blower power system, which we kind of did in the end. I mean, it maybe made it about 100 feet or so before it crashed. So. You think that was a success, Sam? Yeah, that was pretty good for what it was, but we probably could have put airplane EDFs and controllers in there. Yeah, it would, it would, it would have worked better, but I didn't want to mess with the power system. I want to see if we can fly with a off-the-shelf power system leaf blower, even though this, this hardly looks like a leaf blower anymore. It's a, definitely a little bit cut up. So that wasn't bad. Now, the difference between the gas and the electric was the electric has a slightly better power-to-weight ratio, because we did put this on the scale and we did run it up, and this thing produces about two pounds of thrust, and it only weighs about about six pounds or so. This thing, however, did about 3.5 pounds of thrust in the beginning, but it weighs 11.5 pounds with just the leaf blower itself. So, power weight ratio, this is slightly better. Now, this thing has a power, higher power density, which is why gas is still king, because that 
fuel tank and gas would run like a lot longer than this little electric battery pack would weigh for the same amount of weight given. So these things are really not practical for flight. We did try to build as light as possible. We ended up trimming down these wings. What I am doing here, why you didn't see me saw this off, is because when we first tried to fly it, I figured, you know, I think this actually this wing is too big. It's creating too much drag where I don't really need to carry that much mass with it so we can cut some down. It kind of actually did work. So we cut the ends off. I redid some of this with paper because it's lighter. And the plane did fly a lot further. And we also lightened up some of this aluminum here. So that worked okay. We did fly. I think this is definitely possible to even fly with just the gas one. However, this would require a lot more time as far as aircraft design. I wouldn't be able to use this poplar. I couldn't use this foam. I'd have to make it out of carbon fiber, crazy composites, and only fly it on the calmest days. That's something I really don't want to do in this channel. I just want to see if it's really practical to build a flying leaf blower with just minimal materials that are not super crazy. And well, it's kind of possible to buy the electric one. So mildly plausible. Uh, what do you think, Sam? Anything else? Uh, I want to do this again at some point. Yeah, we can probably try this again, but this this kind of sucks, so we won't, we won't really mess with this anymore for now. If you guys have any comments on how to improve this or other things you want to see us do with leap blowers or any other power tools, let us know in the comments. And uh, that's it.